women lose control on paternity court. He's always constantly telling me I'm cheating. It's been happening for four years now. He keeps accusing you, so you just go ahead and validate the accusation. Well, why all this back and forth? I'm pregnant, I'm not pregnant. Because yeah, pregnant. true enough, I told him I wasn't pregnant because I why just had Mariah four up? months. She was only four months. I didn't know if I wanted to keep him, to be honest, or what. People say it's women who like drama, but it looks like some men are just born with it. Mr. Hayes was really excited when he and Miss Chapman gave birth to two-year-old Maurice. But now, he's itching for a little drama in his life and is denying the baby boy. What's going on? He's not doing nothing for Maurice Jr. He barely does for Mariah. Like, for instance, on Christmas, he brought Mariah five presents. Then bring Maurice Jr. nothing. For Christmas? Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Is that true, Mr. Hayes? No, ma'am. She's telling a lot of yarn. The drama started when Mr. Hayes found a letter in the mail that said Miss Chapman was pregnant. But when he confronted her about it, she said no. Four months later, he asked her again, and she lied to him once more. At this point, he began thinking she was having an affair with another man. I didn't know if I wanted to keep him, to be honest, or what. So we talked about it, and we got back together. So he came back? Yes. After he found out you were pregnant? Yes. Did it seem as if he accepted the pregnancy? He went to every doctor appointment we'd been, that I'd had since yes, we got back yes, together. I had, exactly. I had no symptoms, I had none of it. But the most unbelievable thing is why Mr. Hayes believes the boy's not his. It's because he doesn't have any symptoms. Is this man okay? Because it's the woman who gets pregnant. Why would he start having cravings and gaining weight? But then why did he sign the birth certificate if he still had doubts? What symptoms were you supposed to have? <laughs> like, you know, cravings, or uh, I, oh, you, I can't you wait. When your uh, when she girlfriend's pregnant, pregnant the uh -huh. first time, when she's uh -huh. pregnant the first time, you gain weight. But this time, you didn't have the same symptoms. You didn't no, eat, you didn't have any cravings, no, and you believe it wasn't your child. Yes, sir. Still, Mr. Hayes doesn't have a convincing story. He could have waited 60 days before signing the birth certificate, but he didn't. That's because he realized that to get a DNA test, he would have needed money. And because he was broke, he decided to become the baby's fake father for a while. The only reason why I just really had doubt is because when she asked me over to her dad's house after she left, I seen another guy coming out the house. When I walked into the door, I explained to her, I asked her, I said, who is that guy? She said, that's my daddy friend. I said, yo dad don't hang around young dudes. So she said, they just work together, it ain't, it ain't nothing. When the other guy started calling Mr. Hayes, he knew something was up. This man kept telling him he was the baby's dad, and Mr. Hayes found it suspicious how, at the same time, Miss Chapman wasn't letting him see the baby either. Did you tell another man to come and get his child? I never told another man to come and get his child. In the day that he's talking about, he came over there and saw the guy in my house. He brought her with him over there. So, Miss Chapman, was there any other possible father? I was talking to the guy who he was talking about, but he could not run the time that the doctor said I got a conceived no. Because Miss Chapman had so many guys in the picture, it's getting a little confusing for Judge Lauren to make sense of all this drama. Since a boy needs a mother and a father, the only way to conclude things is to announce the results. You are not the father. Thank That's you. fine. He can have his night back. That's but fine. But you still get it. Yeah, I took out through all that, but did I not tell you I was with somebody else, though? No. Did I not say that? Oh, you not with nobody else, but at the you time. Know. Before we start getting silly to save face, the point is, it's not his child. Mr. Byram had no idea he was signing up for a lifetime of drama when he got together with Miss Morris. The two have two children together, but so much has happened that has made Mr. Byram doubt about their third son, Jackson, being his. This is the second time she's done this to me since we've been together. This isn't just the, the first time that she's cheated on me. This is the second time. I've been nothing but faithful and loving to her since day one. Second time it happened once. Miss Morris, did you cheat on him? Yes, Your Honor. Right from the start, there is no doubt Mr. Byram is the innocent one in this case. After he caught Miss Morris red-handed, he began to rethink his entire life with her. Judge Lauren is shocked and asks Miss Morris what forced her to cheat on the man who loves her so much. We were having trouble way before I even slept with his friend. I was always constantly getting accused. He's always constantly telling me I'm cheating. It's been happening for four years now. What I'm trying to and understand we, is he keeps accusing you, so you just go ahead and validate the accusation? Well, we technically we split up for a month. And this isn't the first time Miss Morris cheated on Mr. Byram. The first time it happened, he left the house for months. 
But the big question here is that Miss Morris slept with his friend on the 25th of September, while she slept with Mr. Byram on the 27th of September. That means either of them could be the father. She was sleeping with him every day. I would go over there and get mine in the morning, and we, she would have him at we, night. We split up for a month, and he was constantly blowing my phone up every day because we completely split up. He moved to his friends down the street, and I was still in the house. Like, I, I was the one that got to stay at the house with the other two children. Despite all the drama between them, why does Mr. Byram keep trying to make things work with Miss Morris? It's got to do with his daddy issues. His dad bailed out on him when they were kids, and now he doesn't want to leave his children behind. At the same time, Miss Morris is trying to involve the other man into all their lives. The other potential father is actually incarcerated right now, or else he would be here too. Dude's in prison. I've been taking care of her and, and both of the kids. Don't get me wrong, her grandma helps us out with diapers and stuff, but I've been taking care of her and our kids by myself. She don't work. I go to school. I go to cosmetology school, and the only reason I had to drop out was because I had the babies. Even though Mr. Byram's been trying really hard to bond with Jackson, he just can't. Every time he looks at the boy, he sees his friend's face in him. Miss Morris complains that sometimes Mr. Byram acts like a dad, and then sometimes he acts like a stranger. But why did Miss Morris choose his friend of all people? He's always treated me like crap, but he always belittles me. It's been going on for four years now, and it's just... Do you have feelings for this other guy? No, I don't. You I mean, if, yeah, he's the, do. if he's the father, I've done a lot of being in his life. You you know, I'm not going to I'm I'm keep father. kid away from their father. I don't think any woman should do that. Because of Miss Morris and all her dramatic shenanigans, now Mr. Byram's family doesn't want to bond with Jackson until the tests show he's the father. All of this made Miss Morris admit that she's made a mistake. The drama gives you an adrenaline rush, but it doesn't give you a happy family. What does Mr. Byram want? I don't want to argue in front of our kids anymore. I want them to grow up and be like, damn, our, my family is awesome. We go on trips, we go on vacations. There's no arguing between us. I don't want that anymore. Don't want to argue anymore. I just don't. That's the only reason I want to go. It was the kid and the arguing. It has to stop. The arguing has to stop. Forget the drama for a moment, because there are real people involved here. Does Miss Morris really feel an ounce of guilt for what she did? She says she regrets the cheating, but she shouldn't have dragged a baby into all this drama. Only the results can bring them peace now. You are the father. Yes. I'm happy about that. That's just, Congratulations. Thank you. That really helped me out a lot. I like. How does it feel now? It feels great. Almost want to cry that he's mine. That would yep. be fine. You've been through a lot. Mr. Fields is done with women chasing him with paternity accusations. He just wants some peace in his life. Miss Foster has a flair for drama, but who knows if she's being honest this time? Can she prove that her 17-month-old daughter is Mr. Fields' baby? He brought her about three onesies and two pair of socks. And she has medical needs. Tiana had three surgeries. She had open heart. She had diaphragm and a G-tube. Right now, um, she's having some development problems. So we're just having follow-ups in Syracuse with all the rest of her doctors. So the day Mr. Fields met Miss Foster for the first time, they didn't even try to keep it under control. They let their urges take control and ended up having sex until Miss Foster's mother came to pick her up. But was Miss Foster a virgin before she met this guy? Miss Foster, virgin. he said that you were saying you were a virgin at that time. Were you? I was practically before him. There was, was some other guy. There was How some do you other be guy. Practically a virgin. There was some other guy before him. I don't count that as a partner. You said you were practically, practically a virgin. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can't practically be a virgin. But the thing that bothered Mr. Fields the most was how Miss Foster kept invading his privacy. At first, she kept harassing his mother with numerous texts, and then she got a hold of his brother's Facebook account. Things got so bad, she even texted his wife. I so never texted text his wife. wife. I never texted his wife. I have never known a party three days ago. Evidence. Let's get some order. If she believes you're her child's father, of course because she would try to get in touch with you. You think she's trying to get in touch with you because she wants to be with you? No, 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 no. I'm, I, listen, I'm married. I'm, I'm well, I'm really happy married. Bring evidence of that. Where's the paper? Where's the, where's the marriage certificate? Where's that? But Miss Foster has a whole different perspective on the story. According to her, she's the one who left Mr. Fields, and since then, he's been begging her to take him back. In fact, he even wants to have this baby. 
So why is he putting up all this drama in the courtroom then? He just was talking to me two days ago. Oh, was it? Telling me how he loves me, how this is not going to work because Bruh, family doesn't you, like wait, her. Wait, time out, because now you're lying. Everything. Now, now um, you're lying. I and I have evidence right here, actually. You'll show me you do. Man. I still have love for you that will never change. I wish we would have had a longer relationship. <laughs> Even with my girlfriend now, our relationship not going to last long. The entire audience feels hooked to the drama. When the evidence is shown in court of all his Facebook messages, he lies in court and says that he doesn't even use Facebook. But then he starts lying about using protection with her when they had sex. I don't know what he's talking about, but I have not became on the devil and I haven't even dealt with him since January into last month. When I was that, with him, that, I was huh. on the pill and I lost, I didn't take we it that day. We talked about the left before the baby was born. Were you and he was there at the hospital you, your too. birthday, you thought the baby he was, was there at the hospital. So Mr. Fields, you came to the hospital uh -huh. for the birth. Mm -hmm. So if Mr. Fields is in denial about the baby, why did he show up during the birth? For evidence, Ms. Foster asks her mother to testify on her behalf. Her mother claims that Mr. Fields is just being dramatic in court, whereas in real life, he was always supporting Ms. Foster. He went to doctor's appointments. When we went to Syracuse, he would meet us at the doctor's appointment. He would stay there. He would be there. He comforted my daughter. He was asking questions about the baby because they found three holes in her heart. Because he was involved with my daughter and because he was concerned about my, my grandchild, I, I accepted him. Me and my husband accepted him. But then, Ms. Foster reveals how she was actually pregnant with twins, and when one of them died, Mr. Fields just told her to suck it up and get over it. What kind of a heartless man is he? Now, he thinks she was already pregnant when they had sex, but only the results can show them the truth. Mr. Fields, you are her father. Can I hold her? I want you to hold your daughter, and I want you to help take care of your daughter and be there for her and support her. You gotta work together. There's just no other way. You all have talked about a lot of things that have gone on in the past. Mr. Fernandez was going to happily walk Miss Butler down the aisle in a couple of weeks, but some drama has turned their plans into complete trash. And now he's begging Judge Lauren to help them uncover the details of Miss Butler's nighttime adventures. You claim you found evidence that she cheated and another man may have fathered your little girl divine. Now you called off the wedding, may have fathered your little girl divine and lost $300, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now you're suing her for that and you've petitioned the court for a paternity test. Yes. When Mr. Fernandez discovered Miss Butler cheated on him, he got so angry, he went to the near pawn shop and sold her ring for $300. But he didn't know she was selling it so cheap, so now he's asking Miss Butler for the money. When Judge Lauren confronts Miss Butler, she starts accusing Mr. Fernandez instead. When we first got together, he already had a girlfriend, so he already was a cheater in the beginning. He cheated with... I, I cheated. Why are we yeah. here? We not, I didn't cheat. Okay. Why are we here right now? You did cheat, and that's exactly why I cheated. But he he already had a girlfriend when we first got together. You know the baby I is yours. Cheat the baby. You know the baby is yours. So, did Miss Butler cheat on him because Mr. Fernandez got another woman pregnant? How did she even find out? According to her, he came back home one day smelling like sex, so she started kissing his entire body to sniff him out. How did Mr. Fernandez react? Your Honor, so, I came in from work. You lying. In, went to try to get some sleep. I know. Sleep, what, I know. Try to get some sleep. Like. She say, "Oh, you smell like you sex." Know, I smell like sex. I've been you working know all day. Smell like working all honor. day. Working it's all day. It's a difference between sweat. Oh, okay. And sex. So the bottom line is, you that felt she cheated. That's the bottom. Like he had been cheating. Yes. But when Mr. Fernandez lied to her, she called up her friends and went to a club to party through the entire night. Watching her friends enjoying themselves made her really jealous, so she scouted the place for some handsome man to get laid with. I used the condom, for sure, I used the condom. It's no, you know, down my mind, I know I used the condom. So you admit to cheating? I don't feel like I was cheating because he cheated on me, so. It was sexual intercourse, it's cheating. Cheating okay, is cheating when we were together. Were you still in the relationship or you had broken up? I felt like we was broken up. All of this drama happened because Miss Butler assumed Mr. Fernandez was cheating on her. So he snooped through her phone and found out she was cozying up with some Gucci guy. Then Mr. Fernandez reveals a huge secret about her. You're saying Miss Butler is allergic to? She's allergic to condoms, Your Honor. We never use them. I, I wasn't even aware of this because so, we never use condoms. So to the to the latex material. To the latex material. Okay. So now, Miss Butler, yeah. are you or are you not allergic to latex? Are you? <laughs> no. 
So I'm you're not. not? No. Mr. Fernandez is in for the shock when he realizes Miss Butler was just trying to get herself pregnant with him so she could trap him into a paternity case. And that's why she used a condom with the Gucci guy, but not him. After living with her for so long, only now is he realizing he's trying to marry a crazy woman. When a baby will, will did get conceived, okay, we because there, you we always thought in my face, uh, you cheated, it's Gucci Man Baby. So of course one day, so of course one day I'm gonna I'm say what? yeah, it's Gucci Man Baby because that's what you say. Hey, nobody want to keep hearing that. I don't want to keep hearing this Gucci Man Baby. So of course I'm gonna say yeah, it's not your baby. Now, after all the cheating fiascos and the condom drama, these two need answers. Is Divine the Gucci man's baby, or did Mr. Fernandez father her? And in case the results come back positive, will these two try to patch things up to raise Divine in a normal household? Let's go to the answers. It has been determined by this court, Mr. Fernandez, you are her father. Uh, Told you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm uh, talking about. Do you oh, see her? Do you man. see her? Do you see her? Look uh, at her. All this time. All this time.